we're set up. Yes, oh, I'm set up okay. enough. Cool. For some reason, it's really oh, laggy at the moment, but whatever. Over to the country map. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Right. So this is the country of Ruskland, and you right now are in the capital city of Rusk. Haven. Oh. Um, and uh, perhaps you've done some work in the capital city or in the surrounding countryside, or maybe um, you were just have just arrived here. Um, mm -hmm. well, um, in a, a busy, uh, busy marketplace, um, what is your passive perception? Let me get that open. Passive perception right now is ten. Oh, okay. He's not. He's he's quite good in crowds. He's quite beefy, but he's just not that bright. Right. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Traglin, as you're walking around the uh, the this. Uh, this marketplace in Rusk Haven, uh, you feel a a little a little tug on your on your belt, and a little a street urchin um, uh, has slipped up, uh, trying to uh, tug uh, something from your belt. Uh, uh, swing around and backhand him. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just backhand him, you know. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, the the kid. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh, I send him sprawling. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Yeah. Uh, what is your? Uh, 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 roll a one d four plus. Your, roll a one d four. Okay. Immediately, the other street urchins are like, how dare you? Uh, so, yeah, um, the kid uh, crumples to the ground and whimpers and then just, like, get, gets back onto his feet shakily and uh, it's just kind of runs uh, away from you, sobbing. I, I'm sorry. Uh, I call after him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go that hard. Watch your, watch your, watch those grubby paws next time. Uh, uh, so, um, there's a, a town, uh, a town crier who, um, who is, uh, setting up, uh, a, a, a box, um, and he is crying out for people to donate to the poor, the poor uh, ravaged uh, cities in the outlands who have been devastated by by the terrible tragedies of the past year. And several people come up and uh, make some donations into his little box that he's got set up. Mm -hmm. Do I know of these tragedies as well? Um, you can make a history check. Sure. No, I've been pretty... I've been living under a rock for the past year. <laughs> wow, I'm not starting out very well at all. Uh, your, uh, your, 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 uh, your puppet says, uh... I don't think anything's been going on out there. Nope, nothing at all. Yeah, he's just trying to get money out of me. 
I will not donate. Yeah, no, no donations to the, uh, to the guy. <laughs> you what? Um, no donations. I'm not donating. I'll just kind of tuck my head under and rush by. <laughs> Hopefully they won't notice me and call me out for being a cheapskate. A heart, oh, heartless okay. cheapskate. I'm, yeah. Beating up orphans and not donating to the poor. That's very charismatic of me, I'm sure. Uh, you hear a... Uh, what what would you like to do in Rust Cave? If anything. How long have I been here? Is it... Is it... Um, it depends on whether you've been doing errand in the countryside or whether you just arrived here. So which would you prefer? I would like to have been here for a while. Um, possibly doing some street performances, organ grinding, that sort of thing. All right. So, yeah, then you've been here for um, oh, three months mm -hmm. um, through, the, through the winter. Um, you've, you've done the, the performances on the street. Um, mm -hmm. People have laughed at uh your, your your productions um and you've managed to make a little bit of coin cool doing that mm -hmm. um um made some uh some acquaintances in the performance uh industry mm -hmm. um the uh the town crier is actually uh one of the people that you occasionally bump into on on the streets yeah um i've kind of gotten it i think i've probably gotten to know him pretty well too probably on a first name basis with the town crier by now um i'm also imagining like have you ever seen errol flynn seahawk i think it's seahawk where he's like part of the royal navy and he goes out sailing and such there's a, there's a, so. yeah, there's a scene where they're all taking off from port and um, the town crier is shouting the time at like three o'clock in the morning. Mm. Just, just a little three o'clock and all's well. And I'm like, yeah, I would imagine. I've, I've heard that from like Robin, the, the animated Robin Hood. That, yeah, yeah. The same, same. Same, same type of thing, yeah. Except this is more like 1800s era. Anyway, oh, okay. I imagine having gotten off of um, some of the performances indoors in the taverns and such like that, maybe, maybe I have been commissioned to work in a few burlesque houses, that kind of thing, as sort of a comedian. Mm. Yeah, three in the morning they all let out all the ladies go to bed i'm just like okay well i'm out of here i got a room at the inn i'll pay up there tonight and then meet, mm -hmm. the, meet the town crier and chat it up with him for a few minutes before ducking into the tavern mm -hmm. um is he of any significance do i i'll ask him how's it been going this morning or this afternoon Oh, it's, it's been going rather poorly, of course. Most people are worried. Um, not too many people are out and about these days, but still bringing in a little bit of coin. So that's, that's to be... I'll thumb over my shoulder to people. the... Um, yeah, I'll thumb over my shoulder to the, I guess, the the cleric or I guess or whoever that is over there and I'll say can you what's going on with this hardship thing of the past year that he's raising money for what's all that all about oh yes yes um well 
Um, apparently, it, it, it's sort of been kept sort of hush-hush because um, uh, people don't want to, uh, to cause a panic, of course. But um, apparently, the outlying uh, towns have been um, held, held ransom by a, a fearsome dragon. Mm. That has um, uh, last year it showed up to a succession of towns on the outreach on the outskirts and um, demanded uh, money. And if they didn't give them money, then it would tear down their houses and kill everyone. A typical tyrannical sort of stuff. Mm. Um, so the people paid and um, you know, went from one town to a month later, another town, mm -hmm. a month later, one more. And um, <clears throat> are they worried it'll come here? Uh, yes, worried about that, but also worried about uh, just sort of collectively the of the, the kingdom as a whole since uh, um you know those towns are, are, are very poor now and if the the dragon comes back they can barely afford to make even one more uh, payment that, that way mm. so far we haven't been able to track down where the dragon is or now over the winter there was a bit of a low as I understand it um there was a bit of a low um but then now that it's getting out of spring uh, out of winter and towards spring once again um Cloverfield has just reported that um a weirdly a goblin appeared at their gates and said that um hand over your hand over make a make a make a thousand gold payment or a dragon will come the dragon will come and knock over buildings and kill people um hmm. uh, they um they didn't quite necessarily believe the the goblin necessarily because you know goblins are pretty fantastical mm -hmm. it was a fantastical claim at least mm -hmm. and they had they had robert the brave with them and mm -hmm. robert the brave was you know was sort of a celebrity sort of person but he he, he knows how to fight um so Cloverfield decided to not pay the, the goblin. Um, but the next day there was there was a, a dragon and it stomped out of the forest and smashed some some buildings. And uh, Robert went out to fight it even and uh, chased it back into the forest, but within the force to uh, met his met his end so mm. um this whole situation is sort of spiraling out of control here no kidding we definitely don't need a dragon here no not in west cape no that would be tragic right and I see in my mind's eye that Cloverfield is only a hop, skip, and a jump away. <laughs> um, um, hmm, it does make me a little worried. So, are they trying to blame the goblins for all this mess then? Since a goblin shows up and demands money. It, it's, uh, from what Cloverfield is saying, the goblins and a dragon are somehow working together, as unlikely as that seems. Hmm. 
Little, little bastards. Right. The first thing I think, I mean, the first thing I think is maybe the dragon has been enslaved or maybe the goblins are enslaved. Which one's in charge here? I don't know. I would imagine the latter, just because goblins are disgusting little creatures. If the pattern holds, um, Badenville would be next on the hit list. Mm. Um, oh. Right. Maybe Cloverfield has some more information that hasn't trickled down yet, um, oh, down this way. That's a good point. Well, <laughs> well, if anything happens here, I'll be I'll be here to clean up the mess and cheer everybody back up. That's right, you will. <laughs> no, and then secretly in my mind, the puppet's like, you yeah, know, I bet there's a reward. Right, right. Mm. Has there been any uh, bounties posted against goblins or dragons thereabouts that I might pick up? And, you know, see what I can do about the situation. I mean, yes, I am driven more by coin than of honor and chivalry. But I feel it's been too long, I mean, much too long since I did any honest work. It's been probably a decade since I've picked up a hammer last, like a real hammer, and just, you know, pounded out a good solid weapon. Been traveling around with this little guy so long, so long. Starting to get uh, wearisome. Uh, Don't you dare think about throwing me away. Right, right. <laughs> uh, tr uh, Traglin, your, your puppet says, um, the clown probably wouldn't even notice if a little bit of that, all that ransom gold was missing. 10%. 10%. The crier. What are you, who are you talking to? What's 10% of what? Hmm. Oh, the gold that the dragon uh, captured from all those towns. Oh, right, right. Yeah, it wouldn't be like the town expected any of it back. Why not 100%? Hmm. Why not? I mean, if the dragon were dead, assuming we were to kill it, who was to say we killed it and made off with its treasure? No one. Yes. Well, everyone, depending on how the story gets spinned. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Traglin the Dragon Slayer. Sounds <laughs> pretty catchy. Right. Mm. I only was able to afford. I don't remember what I bought. It was something expensive, though. Uh, chain? Chain shirt? Yeah, the chain shirt was pretty uh, pretty expensive. Oh, the magnifying glass. I think I bought a magnifying glass. Ooh. I think. I don't remember. I have my character sheet right here. Let's check. No, I didn't buy a chain or magnifying glass. But yeah, uh, oh, the lock. That's what I bought. I bought, and I pull out my lock and show it to the town crier. Check out what I got at the local locksmith yesterday. It's his finest one. And I'll pick up a stick off the ground 
wooden stick and jam it in the lock and try to pick it and it breaks off. Well, okay, no. See, it's it's foolproof, it's lock, it's pick proof. Not even I can get it open. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, good for you, sir. You, uh... It was a pretty penny. Um, no, actually, it wasn't. It was only 10 gold. <laughs> oh, gosh. But I'm pretty proud of it. No, actually, I did just spend money on what seems like it would have been useful for an adventure. Well, that sounds. And, yeah. I don't want to, any of it to go to waste. What do you think? Well, yeah, 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 you could do it. Take all the credit. <laughs> Bards will write songs about you for generations. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. He's not feeling particularly motivated at this point, except for the draw of just getting his hands dirty for once, rather than a street performer just going about the day to day. It's becoming a drudgery, and he needs something interesting to do. And besides, his puppet is tempting him with gold. Which is an interesting proposition. Perhaps if someone were to accompany him, they'd have a better fighting chance. I don't know. Are you sure Robert died? Uh, his body was found, yes. And it was not breathing. Okay. And um, word whisper on the street is um, the king, because Robert, for some reason, was a favorite of the king. Loaned Robert the legendary Worm Slayer sword, which was apparently on his person when he met his end and is now nowhere to be found. Oh. And I assume the king would like this Worm Slayer sword back, would he not? Ah, I'm sure the king would be very grateful for that, yes. Grateful enough. Grateful enough to pay perhaps a king's ransom. Perhaps. <clears throat> At least a medal. Hmm. One, one for you, one for your puppet. Do it. Tiny metal. do it, do it, do it, or I'll tell him. <laughs> right, right, a, a metal. Well, I actually have never named the puppet. Let's call him Filippo, because that's who I was going to call my guy in the first place, but Filippo didn't sound right. Filippo says... We should do it. Let's go, Filippo. Let's make plans. This sounds like a wonderful <laughs> idea. Yes, the puppet. Okay, I like that idea. The puppet is a fanciful, uh, prone to flights of fancy, as they say. And he'll go off on these crazy harebrained ideas on a whim and then drop them on a whim. 
but he always backs them up with that threat, that one threat. And I don't risk displeasing Filippo for fear that he will spill everything, give it all away, and end my social life as we know. All right. Um, I'm trying to think of any, if I can come up with anybody to go with you. Um, off the top of my head, I, I really can't. So I think it's just going to be Traglin and Philippe. Philippe? Filippo. <laughs> you can call him Philippe if you want. doesn't matter. What did you call him? Filippo with an O. <laughs> oh, Filippo, okay. It's only because I have recently, um, I recently copied the entire movie, uh, 1940 movie Pinocchio to my computer and have yet to watch it. So I've got, yeah, I've got Pinocchio in my head. I'm like, okay, all puppets need to be Italian. Because that's just the thing. Geppetto, Pinocchio. I don't remember what the cat's name was, but um, yeah. I think both sounds Italian. Okay, so it sounds like if you are going to go out there in the wide world. Um, the two possible locations are either Cloverfield to figure out any more details or mm -hmm. Baddenville, which is possibly the next site of attack. Yes. Um, or somewhere else. Right. Uh, but those are probably your two best options. Okay. Red Run <laughs> should be called Red Rum. It should be pronounced Red Rum. I was trying to remember where Orlane came from, and apparently it's not like a common name, but mm. it sounds like it should be. Orlane, Orlane was part of the. Um, Explictica defilus. Oh, that was the right. that was That's the giant. Good. Only because yeah. I renamed it to Orlando on Ian's table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And then I like, was wondering why Orlando sounded so familiar. Yeah, yeah, that, that would make sense. Yeah, that's the main town of, outside the Explictica defilus's lair. Um, yeah, Battenville does sound, it looks like the two are about the same distance from here, from Rusk Haven. Yeah, but it's, it's about the same distance. Um, okay. um, probably about a weeks travel on foot. Okay. I or don't... If you're renting a horse, probably twice as fast. Right. Yeah, I don't have any real means of travel or paying for travel. I don't think. Uh, I've got a bit of gold. I could probably afford a Ford amount. At least a rental. I'm not going to buy a amount and feed it. I prefer to rent one here. The horse rental facility. <laughs> there's spikes to the end of the paddock. If you try to go back in, they puncture the horse's hooves. 
<laughs> a riding horse is seven seventy five gold, but you can probably rent it for uh, I don't know thirty five. A gold price. for two days, something like that. Oh, oh. So. that does sound reasonable. Yeah, gold for two days does sound fine. All right. And how long will you be expecting to have the horse, Master? Let's call it three weeks. Assuming right. so it's one week there, one week killing stuff, and then one week back. Call it, call it 10 gold. Oh, I mean, three weeks is only three days. gold. What kind of deal is 10 gold for three weeks? If I get one week for one gold. You can make a uh, persuasion. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, he keeps looking over at the puppet that's like nodding along with you. Uh, no. <laughs> Ten gold or nothing at all, and you better bring the horse back. You hear me? Uh, I shell over the ten gold. It comes with a with a. a, a a full belly, does it not? Yes, it does. Yes. Okay. We... And a magical hay bale that will never run dry. No, you might have to provide for the horse on the on the on the road, but uh... still don't get a deal even on food. Gosh, what kind of, what kind of stable is this? <laughs> a, a very a very mundane one, sir. <laughs> Best of journeys to you. I do get an idea. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I was going to say, oh boy, if I failed on animal handling, I'd be like, so how do you start this thing? Like, this is how I've seen it done on all the movies. Whack its rump and it takes off and leaves me behind. I was I was worried you were gonna all just blast that pickpocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to blast him. I just wanted to get him out of my way. Uh... Especially since I kind of do jingle. It's my chain shirt and whatever else is in my pockets. Hmm. I can't have I can't have any old tiny young street urchin robbing me blind at this point. No, no. I worked too long and hard for that. All right. I stomp off from the stable, muttering under my breath stuff like Gosh, you think for a mundane, you know, a mundane stable, they know three times one is three, not ten. Gosh, most companies give you a break if you get things in bulk. These people go the exact opposite way. Wonder what four weeks would have cost. Twenty gold. Forty. Okay. Wonder what four weeks would have cost. Twenty gold. Forty gold. Uh, At that point, I might as well just buy the stupid nag. Oh, well, you said three weeks. It would be twenty. Twenty gold for three weeks. Sorry. Wait. Ten gold. <laughs> He's still weeks. trying to shortchange me. Golly. <laughs> I, I I take the horse and I hurry away from the stable master as fast as possible before he can stop me, and mark up. Oh, Mark up the price again. I signed for 10 gold! I yell over my shoulder. Ah. 
Uh, I, you I, have I, your horse, you yeah. have your puppet, you are all set. Mm -hmm. uh, Badudo, were you going towards? Uh, yes. Okay. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. <laughs> um. At, at a couple days journey along the road to Badenville, mm -hmm. um, as you get closer though, uh, can you make a perception check? Yes. Yes, I can. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, you arrive at uh, Badenville, um, and the people um, the the, uh, the gate is is shut as you um, as you come up to the uh, to the town, um, and as you as you knock on the gate, um, it cracks open, and uh, a little fearful little villager um, peers out at you. He's got like a, a spear in his hand, and he's like, "Who is it? Are you trying to rob us? Be gone!" Not very trusting, are you? No, I'm not. I'll peer. I'll, I'll tip. I'll stand on my tiptoes, being. A shorter sort and peer into the window as well. No, no robbing here. That's right, he's not here to rob you, he's here to give his services. And then the puppet will shove me aside and I'll make him talk for me. We are Draglin and Filippo the Great. Um, make another persuasion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. He, he he stands down. He puts the spear aside, um, and uh, says, "Sorry, we're we're so on edge. Um, we just we we just we heard that." That Cloverfield just had that that dragon come by again, so we're we're all hoping he doesn't come back this way. Cloverfield has been hit. Uh, yes. This. How long did it take me to get here? A week. Yeah. Just a week ago, I heard. Oh, that's right. Wow, my brain. Yeah, his brain isn't so great. I do all the thinking for him. <clears throat> yeah, I'll put a circle. <laughs> all right. Yep. And you're worried. You're worried that the uh, dragon will come here? Yes, it, it came here last year, and then we thought all the attacks were, were over, but now it, it, it started up again, and Cloverfield was hit just last, just last week, so I, we're worried we're next again. Well, I heard there was a warning, or possibly a threat from a goblin. What about that? That... Let's see, last year, last year it was just the dragon, but I did hear that Cloverfield, this time, yes, there was there was a goblin that this demanded that the town hand over gold, um, and when they didn't, there was, there was the dragon, and poor Robert the Brave was slain by it, that's what I heard. Brave, yes. 
light footed, no. Well, I am only a traveler come to perform in your fair city. Or are you a goblin in disguise? You're short. I yank on my beard. It does not come off. No, I think I'm good. <laughs> uh, Traglin, you hear a, a rustle behind you um, in, in the trees and stepping out of the the surrounding forest uh walking towards the gates kind of towards you and towards the the gates is a goblin I a that urchins man. that urchin followed me <laughs> <laughs> and my hand stops short of his face just as i realized that he's a lot greener than i remember him wait a minute you're not the same young whelp from Rusthaven. I glare. Uh, probably not too much taller than him, but so, some amount. So I'll stand up straight and try to look down on him and look imposing. Who are you? Do you represent Battenville? You represent Battenville? I'll step aside and present him to the gatekeeper. <laughs> the, uh, the, the See with you. Peek his neck out. Uh, yes, I speak for Battenville. How do you have such a goblin? Oh, no. The goblin said he spoke for Battenville. Which one speaks no, for no, Battenville? No, the goblin, the goblin was asking you if, if you oh. speak for Battenville. Uh, no. I uh, he does. The the goblin shouts out to the, the villager. Uh have one thousand gold brought out to the old mill, or your town will be ravaged by the dragon again. And then uh starts to walk back into the into the forest. Uh, uh, do you do anything? Yes, I take an attack of opportunity. Okay. I want it. Well, I want it to be a good one, though. So I'm not going to just beat him up. Um, one, one moment. Let me find a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I uh, it's one reaction. I don't know what a reaction is. No, not a reaction. That's fine. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll take an attack of opportunity and I will enthrall him. Meaning the puppet says, grabs him. Like I work the little stick arm and it grabs him by the cloak and just a minute now, come back here. Let me ask you a few questions. Little green man, where were you on the night of uh, uh, of July the twentieth. <laughs> if I can, if I can get, oh boy, I'm starting to really kind of play into it now. Because if I can get, oh no, I don't need to get anything. At the same time, I will um, take another action and try to pickpocket him with my mage hand if that's allowed uh let me resolve the throw first okay. uh, wisdom saving throw well that ones are known for their wisdom <laughs> Go a 
system. Okay, 10. Yep, that is below your LDC. Yeah. Now look here, Betty. The puppet weaves his hand around the shoulder of the goblin and the, he and I lead him back to the gate. We don't want any trouble here. How about we just, you know, pay you a little gold. Here, here, and I'll hand over two gold coins. And you just, you just pretend like you came here, but actually didn't. And you go back and just tell everyone all's clear. The town's paying up. We, 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 we'll be fine. No need to send any dragon. Am I right? The gatekeeper just kind of nods quickly, but silently. Uh, the the goblin, um, yeah, charmed by your your words and the the little bit of gold in his hand, will nod and give a give a wink, and will. Um, <laughs> Scurry back into the into the forest. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I hope he believed me. I don't know. Okay. Um. <clears throat> the uh, the the villager uh, gives kind of a cheer as the goblin. <laughs> goes away, yeah. but then starts to mutter that maybe they should get the girl together anyway, just in case. Um, okay, so the, uh, the immediate, uh, the immediate threat is, uh, is gone at the moment. Uh, what would you like to do in town? Anything? I'd like to organize a bank sale. To raise gold to pay off the goblin. <laughs> no. <laughs> It'll be a charity. It'll be all for charity. We'll be able to. It's tax deductible. You know. You know. Just a bake sale. A simple bake sale. Um. Well, I would hope free lodging, maybe some water and food for my horse here for oh, scaring the goblin off. We can, we can provide that, sure. No problem. Wonderful, wonderful. And might you have an establishment where we can feed and water myself? Yes, we have we have an uh, uh, an inn. Yes, um, that you something uh, with some I'll rather. Speak, uh, I'll speak to the innkeeper and and see that your your good deed here um, is is rewarded. And I would assume he he offers the uh, the finer brews of Badenville. Yes, of course. Wonderful, wonderful. I would be curious to sample some of this. Uh, yes, go right ahead. <sighs> um, All right. Uh, the, the day goes gradually. Hmm. Hmm. If I find or I forgot to grab any containers, I forgot to buy any containers, but if I were to do some street performances, could I garner a bit of gold of my own or even just a few coppers? That's fine with me. Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay. So I'm thinking 
Filippo and I will put on a little sideshow on the street. Hopefully it's legal, hopefully it doesn't require any city permits and such. But we'll 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 perform for the little the little Baden street urchins and other such people, townsfolk. Uh, yeah, um, make a, a performance. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, very nice. I roll, uh, roll 2d10. All right, wow, wow. For a town that is fighting for to scrounge up gold um, and recover from a previous ransom attempt, um, you managed to pocket uh, 100 gold. 100? Yes. Are you sure not 100, like silver? OK. They are somehow so charmed by your performance that, uh, yeah, 100 gold. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> while, while in the background, there's like a town crier going door to door, give us your gold, please. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow the dragon will come. <laughs> um, Meanwhile, I go to the local temple, find that the old women are making, are organizing, in fact, a charity bake sale, and I buy them out with my hundred gold. Filippo, look what I have. And I hold up just a burlap sack full of muffins. Uh, dusk um, is, is falling. Okay. And there is a tremendous crash against the front gates of the town um the uh the town the town watch guard mm -hmm. um cries out that oh no it's it's the dragon and uh, would, would i have had enough time for a rest i.e uh, the um the uh the enthrall would that have reset my spell right. slots? Uh, let's say yes. Let's, let's say it, it's dawn of the next day. So okay. it's still dark out, but okay. it's still dim light. But um, you have had a rest. Yeah. Okay, good. And there's a crash against the gates as something slams into it. Uh, and the guard looking over the wall uh, shouts that the dragons come, run for your lives. Meanwhile. And there's a mass, a mass movement of people as they try to get as far away from the, the gates, the main gates as possible. Uh, what do you do, Traglin? Mm. Uh, what? Uh, sit up in bed in the inn. Meanwhile, Filippo, up and at him. Fortune and glory await. <laughs> Fuck you, Filippo. No, no, no. Hey, everyone, guess what? Guess what Traglin does? Shut up. I'm, I'm going. I'm moving. Fortune and glory. Fortune and glory. I will rush outside, um, realizing I forgot to put on pants, rush back inside, put on my regular clothes, rush back Get outside. Get Philippe dressed. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. Get Philippe dressed, Filippo. Yeah, yeah. And I tug on Filippo's little, little vest, little... little performance best. Strap on his tiny little wooden sword. You all ready? Uh-huh. Uh, 
I actually have a Mexican marionette in my basement somewhere. I need to get it out and be like, um, yeah, wait a second. I'll be right back. Okay. Here is Filippo. Oh, lovely. Nice. Very nice. Anyway, I can't type with one hand. Um, yeah, I will strap on my gear, strap on Filippo's gear. I'll say I've got to uh I've got to tuck you away. I've got to have both hands to do my job. How dare you? Right. Push him into a bag. I know my limits. I know when to stop performing and start actually swinging the sword. And I will join the horde of guards pushing past the crowds that are going in the opposite direction. All right. Um, you fight your way through the crowd, um, and uh, where it is? Alrighty, so we'll say this red line here is the town wall, and here is the uh, the gate here. Okay. Um, right outside of that, there is a very large dragon that is um, slowly clawing at the gate. Um, there is a couple of town guards that are. Let me see if I can find a guard to go. Uh, that are trying to fire down at the dragon from the walls. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but most of the other town folk have, are trying to, at this point, um, evacuate. Yeah. It so, would be so simple, roll 20, to give default token <laughs> images to the D Anyway. <laughs> Got it. Okay. And the guards are already attacking, right? Uh, there's a guard. Oh, hey. Wait. Okay. That's weird. Anyway, guard one. Copy that guard. Two, three. Um, so let's see. Uh, Okay, so the uh, the villager who who got you accommodations, Traglin, mm -hmm. um, uh, comes up to comes up to uh, to the the guard over this way, um, and says, uh, "We we managed to get the gold. Do we do we just give it to the dragon and?" Hope it'll go away, or do we actually fight it? What, what, what should we do? The guard says it's attacking us. We fight. Oh, um, you called it. it. 
Meanwhile, I was about to rush up to the ramparts and shout down to the dragon, They say they've got the go- Oh gosh, you had to go and fire your crossbow before we had a chance to reason with it. You brought this on yourselves, I yell back to the guard. And then immediately roll initiative. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, initiative. Um, dragon. Green Dragon was eight originally. Mm -hmm. Doesn't All right. <clears throat> the guards will go first and they will. try to uh, throw a spear down at the green dragon raking across the gates to them managed to uh, stick into the dragon in between its scales, um, doing a little bit of damage. And, um, but Tragman, from where you are, the, the spears, when they hit the dragon, something sounds, something sounds kind of off about it. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't sound like spear striking like flesh necessarily hmm. um, what does it sound more like are, uh, um like uh like when you take a puppet and you hammer on another puppet wood on wood or plastic hmm. Uh, you're up. I am up. Hmm. I look over to the guards. Uh, I look back down at the dragon. <sighs> Sorry, Filippo. Sorry you can't see what I'm about to do. Bastard. I will... Um, fire my light crossbow at the thing. Hopefully hit that thing. It's right in the yeah, middle of your that. range. Nice. And I'll try to do three damage to All it. Right. All right. Uh, the dragon will... Uh... We'll try to. What is dragon? Dragon. 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 Um, we'll 
try to climb up the wall towards the the two guards um, uh, to the east. Um, straight. Oh. Oof. Uh, yeah. So the dragon clambers up the side of the wall here and makes a massive swipe at the guard right there. Uh, swipe. Claw. A, a miss. And another claw. Another miss. And boy. No, two claws. All right. Ah. Uh, that guard manages to dodge every swipe that the dragon goes does at it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Guards are up next. Um, the one guard here will try to stab at Melee. Oh, the dragon, that's a miss. Um, the other one here is gonna come over here and try to do the same thing. That's a hit for, oof, good, good. And at this range, uh, once again, something is, yeah, it's sounding very much like wood on, on wood here. Um, this guard over here is going to do one more range attack. Mm -hmm. No, that didn't miss. Okay, Traglin, you're up. Which one has the bag of gold? Which guard? I'm sorry? Which go which guard has the bag of gold that they were going to pay the goblins with? Uh, the one behind you. This one here. Yeah, that one. I will disengage the dragon and run up and say, give me, give me, give me the gold. Give me the gold. I have an idea. Uh, he gives it to you. Does he? Okay. Aha! No, I'm not going to run. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Run away. Run away. Shut up, Filippo. How do you know what's going on? You're in the bag. You're back in your bag. I run back to the dragon and try to distract it by waving the gold bag around jingling it very frantically look we got it we got it i yell um there's your persuasion okay. check oh that's a good persuasion check dang wow, wow. <laughs> uh uh Traglin, can you make one more perception check? Yes. Not that you're actively trying to. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, the over the din of combat, uh, mm. the dragon uh, hears you, and its neck circles around, bringing its huge head, ah, uh, ah. Uh, right in front of you mm -hmm. um it will look at the the bag of gold that you're jingling and will chop down on it and put it in its mouth um but at this close range traglin mm -hmm. um and given your experience with puppetry and mechanics um, the dragon head, and as you look at it, the dragon itself, is essentially a puppet being mechanically moved in movements that simulate a, an actual dragon. Oops, sorry. Um, but it is a very complex mechanism. Um, hmm. it's, but, uh dragon has the bag of gold in its mouth. Um, ooh. 
<laughs> so hang on a sec. I didn't mean to click anything. That that was a that was a I was I forgot I was supposed to also pull in summon fiend with my with my subclass. Um, but okay, so he's I, I feel like he's being puppeteered. I like it a lot. I hear in my in my head. Aha! I can take him. <laughs> And I will. All right. Are you doing Scorching Ray? No. Okay. I, I am doing um, Summon Fiend, and I will take out my puppet. Its eyes will be glowing a little bit. Yeah. At least uh, this is... Fiend is a lab... Full six now. This is part of the um, Pact of the Chain, I believe. Is that correct? This is. Um, let me read again. Let me read again and again. Oh, I just read it too. Find the familiar spell and cast it as a. Oh, sorry, not summon fiend. I meant find familiar. I'm thinking. Ah. Find familiar, yeah, but I'm following the fiends of hell. So of course, yeah, I get it mixed up. Summon familiar. And of course that's not a Okay. <laughs> that's not a spell that, per se. That, okay. Yeah. So you can have cast um find familiar yesterday or some other time in the past. Mm -hmm. And your familiar is out and about or you summon it. Yeah in battle right here. Mm -hmm. um, okay, what is your familiar doing? Is it not familiar? Is it what? What's your familiar going to do? <sighs> I really don't know. <laughs> I just thought it looked cool. Um, uh, let's see. I am... Yes. Oh, right. Puppet versus puppet. The puppet is going to take a move, and it's going to attack with its own wooden sword. Okay. Which I'm just going to make a quick dagger attack, hand to hand. Oh. I mean... That, remarkably, is a hit. <laughs> the puppet. Right. Uh, I can take care of this. Stab, 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 stab. <laughs> you managed to uh, uh, scratch it, its eye a little bit as as it, it um, in passing. Mm -hmm. Um. Boy, uh, with the gold, though, um, hmm. interesting. Um, with the gold, um, the dragon is boy, it's just gonna mumble around the sack, um. Don't let me cut you missing parents again. And we'll <laughs> jump down off the wall and stomp off uh, into... May I make an attack of opportunity? Yes, go ahead. I would like to try to light it on fire with my tinderbox. Just a standard... Okay. 
I don't know what that would be, but it's just use Tinder. Yeah. You try to catch up on fire. Yeah, just use Tinder box okay. on Dragon. That's all I want to try to do. Okay, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Um uh what's it what would that be? Survival. Um, just roll a one D twenty. Okay. Actually, survival is perfect because I have a plus zero. Oh, sure, survival. Yes. It doesn't go. <laughs> I forgot the Tinder. Oh, I, the Tinder you know, <laughs> you tried to 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 catch it on fire, um, and as as the tail lazily swings by you, Traglin, mm. you notice that the very tip of it is actually like on fire and smoking just a little tiny bit <laughs> as. The dragon uh, swaggers, swaggers away. When Philippe's like, yeah. come on, come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> the dragon is going to dash, actually. Um, okay. Uh, let's see, getting, uh, yeah, next time. Uh, um, wait. Uh, the guards are going to just sort of cheer um, that the dragon is moving away. Traglin, are you doing anything? Are you pursuing or are you just going to be happy to be alive as well? I am going to stand down as well. Just, yeah, not celebrate per se, just be more confused than anything since that did not yeah. so seem like a real dragon. And. Filippo right. was kind of put on the spot more than anybody because it's like, hey, puppet against puppet. That doesn't make sense. What in the world? Huh? Yeah. All right. Well, I think we can we can pause there. I think that's a good pausing point if. Oh, really? OK. <laughs> Did I run you out of material too quick? No, no, no. Okay. I mean, uh, there's still lots that could happen. Okay. Um, so I need to think. Yeah, I need to think a little I bit. I think it's a, an interesting point to pause. Just okay. A, the dragon is a puppet. What's up with that? Right. Um, I like this. Oh boy. <laughs> like I could. And hopefully uh, we. Hopefully, some more more people show up because um, mm -hmm. it would be cool to run with. Two or three. People. Yes. 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 All right. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Well, uh, thank you for playing, Daniel. Yeah, you're welcome. Happy to do it. It's fun. Yeah. All right. <laughs>